would you have uh, would you remember the numbers or the figures of uh, people that were illegally staying in the United States during that past amnesty program that had the legalization? I believe that uh, during the, the legalization of 1986, uh, the number of people who were legalized under the regular programs, there were two programs actually, one was regular and one was for agricultural workers. I believe that under the regular programs there was approximately two million people. Mm -hmm. And under the agricultural program, agricultural worker program was an additional million and a half. This is what my memory tells me. I'm mm -hmm. not sure about it. Mm -hmm. But I guess it's always uh, advisable, as you had always mentioned on the air, for people to keep on, you know, keep track and keep their files about their status here in the U.S., right? Documentation. So to help them uh, prepare for this possible very, very good news to legalize their status, what are the documents that will be most important to keep now and to search for? Look, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, talking about Filipinos, okay, okay. Uh, uh, the most important document is <coughs> the document with which they entered the United States, meaning the passport. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Yes, that's fine. Even if, they, even, even if they entered with a fake passport, even if they entered under an assumed name, they should keep this passport. Hold on a moment. Mm -hmm.